Hello, Zebra Herd. In today's episode of Fall Guys, we are checking out another Theme Pass 1 Season 4 costume. We have more retro radness with the Poly Bean costume, a low poly version of the normal bean. So let's go take a look. So here is the Polybean costume that we unlocked for level 24 and 26 of Fame Pass 1. We're going to be showcasing this as we hop into some action in today's episode. As we can see, there's you know plenty of quests and stuff to get done. I think we'll start with solos, but then soon after, we'll try create a round playlist for. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, we got our first round here. Can we make it to the end? It's been a little bit since I've last played, so I definitely need to warm up a bit. So we'll see how things turn out here, but it looks like you know we got more uh, creator solo rounds and stuff. Oh no, whoa, close one, close one. There we go. I don't know if we've actually played this one before. If not, we haven't played it too often. Oh, do I need to die for that jump? I guess not. Okay, I might be able to make this crazy jump right there. Our competitor didn't though, so that does, oh no, help us pull out of the lead unless we fall ourselves. Whoops, <laughs> that wasn't good. Okay, we're gonna get right back out there. This is a very fun costume. I do sort of like the remixes on sort of like a classic bean character in that way. Oh boy. Come on, keep running, keep running. This thing is actually really hard to make progress on, but we got it, we got it. Now, this part is definitely a bit risky, making your way across this pole. I know what you're trying to do, but it looks like it slowed you down more than it slowed me down. Okay, run quickly there, perfect. So it doesn't look like this is gonna be a first place finish by any capacity, but maybe we can just chill out here. I don't know exactly which one I wanna do. This should work fine. Yes, no, I hit the center of it. Okay, that was sort of baloney. I think we'll just run through. We just need to be top 21, so it should be okay. There we go, much better, much better. All right, running down this way. Gonna hop onto this, and boom, our first round of today completed. Ooh, this is a classic. We got Tiptoe coming up. Love to see a little bit of the uh, classic mini games sort of pop back up again after we haven't seen them in a while. This one, of course, a little bit of a guessing game at first, but I'm gonna jump out here and not get so lucky. It looks like there's a path to the right. Of course, this one can always be a bit of a scramble. Could we risk it? Okay, well, I was if I wasn't being pushed off, maybe. Uh, but, you know, the question is, where do we go from there? It looks like it's gotta be to the left, right? Yeah, I saw that one wiggle. Okay, I think it's that way, there we go. Okay, get, we can keep moving, it's gotta be this way. Of course, whoa, somebody got knocked with the hammer. That's awesome, good for them. We can always move forward. We gotta keep in mind, of course, which one's wiggle. So it's either to the left or right. It looks like it's gonna be to the left. Uh, all right, it's gotta be forward. You just gotta pay attention to which ones are wiggling. So it's straight forward here, it's either to the right or forward again. Okay, if it could be forward one more time. Nobody wants to try to find out, I almost fell off there, that would've been a disaster. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Okay, it's gotta be, wait, that one wiggled though. Is it backwards? I guess so. Uh, oh no. Where are we going from here? Okay, so somebody found like a better way to go. Oh no, oh no, I'm done for, I'm done for. Ah, uh, there's no way I can qualify now. That's a little unfortunate, but that's sort of just how tiptoe goes. I guess I should have tried the hammer a little bit. That's okay, that's our first round of today. We should still be getting some theme pass points for it though. So let's go see what we get for those. Our show summary. We get play any show, play any round repeatable. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I guess we're getting some extra bonuses because we're coming up on the end of this theme pass. We get times two, that's really nice. So there we go, a bunch of extra rewards for the show summary, getting us up to level 32 where we get the Trojan coloring, as well as almost level 33 for our next costume in the next episode. So we'll definitely be checking that out soon. But for now, let's get back into the action. That was a quick solo show. Let's try creator playlist round four, where of course we'll find some more rounds made with the, uh, level generator, creator, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Let's go for it. Okay, for our next show here, we got a mystery round, it seems. Whoa, look at this one. All right, well, it didn't really give me the name for it, but we're racing to the finish with this. Went right by that hammer pretty easily. The center path, of course, looking a little bit riskier. Oh, but I made it, I made it. Oh, that was actually really clean. And can we do the same diving technique? I guess not. Can't really as easily do the diving technique. Okay, I think it'll be this one. Oh, it is. Can we get on top of here? Yes, we can. This seems like a faster path. Don't have to deal with all those obstacles down below. So that's always good. And then we're getting down here. So if I don't fall, then I can dive. Try to catch up to this person a little bit. Go past the wrecking balls. And then get up here. Oh, I'm catching up a little bit. 
Oh, uh, not quite gonna get the win, but a very close second place is really fun. That was actually a really good round. I liked it. Whoa, another round here with a bunch of fans all over the place. Of course, we have that typical risk and reward. Can we take it through the center? Or will we get, get knocked off to the side? Whoa, okay, dodging that one. And I think I'll be fine, you just jump it across like this. There we go. Now what's going on with this one? The conveyor belt is way down below, so we do have to be careful, but I would like to jump over to this one where there's not as many players. There we go, and then dive. Ooh, that was really smooth. Getting up here. Whoa, we got this huge fan section, I like this. Very cool. No, I don't quite make it because everybody's bumping into me. Try to get back up there. There we go, there we go. And then dive again. <laughs> Out of the way. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's it. We need to be top 20 to qualify, but if we make it past this round, it'll be farther than the previous show, so that would be nice. The first person has already finished it. Okay, ugh, getting a little squished there. Come on, come on. There we go. A 12th place finish isn't exactly perfect, but it's enough to get us through. Another round coming up. This time, it looks like we're running through these conveyor belts. It's not really telling me the name of the levels anymore, so just gotta sort of wing it. I thought these were gonna start spinning, I guess not. Yeah, they're just sort of the pegs sort of lined up with one another, interesting. Running through here as much as we can. Luckily, not getting punched just yet. We're up in the lead too, so this feels really nice. We need to be top 12 here to qualify, but obviously I have my eyes on a first place finish at the moment, and it's going really well. So I'm gonna jump over. <gasps> no, I thought I made it over it. Not quite, not quite. Jeez, that's actually really weird. Uh, no way. Okay, this is actually going super not good anymore. There we go. No, come on, I keep on thinking of getting around, but these are so bouncy. There we go. Come on. Oh my goodness. Crazy, crazy. We're doing it, we're doing it. We didn't get knocked off there. Nobody's quite made it past the finish line just yet. Because at the end of the day, that's more of my concern, is if we're gonna qualify. Pretty difficult way up here. Come on, come on, got it. Now here's the last stretch of it. I think we did it. There we go, a third place finish once again. It could have been a first. So that's a little defeating. We make our way through either way. And these two are just hanging out. Okay, so here we are at the next round. This is maybe, I think this is yeah, our second to last round. Only eight people can qualify with this one, so let's really make it forward. Okay, this is definitely a bit tricky. We need to push this thing, just like that, and then everybody's gonna follow me. There we go, there we go. Oh, we got these bouncers, interesting. So yeah, let's uh, do that. You don't really see these kind of bouncers too much. Very interesting design. Uh, there we go, there we go. And I think I just wanna jump and dive. I'm back in the lead, but can we make that lead persist? I'm gonna jump over here. Of course, always very risky around the moving fans, but I think I can do it. Just jump and dive there, that's pretty good. Awesome, we're, we're doing really well. I think we can get a first place finish here. Got it. I'm pushing through this one as much as I can. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I didn't even really look too far ahead of me at what we were landing into, but we got through that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can we get the first place finish? Yes, we can. Another player right behind us though, so we're on to the final round for this show. Okay, so here we are with the final round. Ooh. Not the best starting position, it seems. We're able to get out ahead. Oh, I got over it. That was so good. That was so super good. But can we use that to stay ahead a little bit here? Whoa, it looks like we're going around the side. This is weird. This is really weird. Um, okay, I'm going over here. I need to dodge that axe. Okay, well, that was actually, no, no, very unfortunate. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. It's really hard to tell exactly where everything is here. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh no, ooh, I thought I turned there. Let me try the other side. This one's not working out too well for me. I mean, obviously there's some other players probably getting really far out ahead here. Come on, yep, let that go. There we go. Really hard to, ugh. No, get up, get up. Make any progress here. This is a really challenging level. I don't know how far ahead the competition is. Maybe we're close to winning here. We're not, unfortunately, not gonna make it to the end. It started so well, but didn't end as good as it started. That's fine, because that was still a fun round for sure. And we'll move on to another show after this, but hopefully we got some extra rewards for getting through all that. Guess we'll see here in just a moment. All right, we got some daily challenges done. Ooh, definitely, that is a ton, and that's gonna get all doubled up here in a moment. 
That is fantastic. So as you can see, all these extra points rolling in. We got 33,000 fan pass points, which will give us the first piece of the cutest friend costume, as well as the level 34, which gives us 100 more show bucks. Don't forget, of course, the other half of the cutest friend costume. I'm gonna be showcasing that really soon. We got level 36, 100 more show bucks. Level 37, the glitching out celebration. I'll clip that one right now. And it looks like that's all we got so far. But we also got crown shards. That's enough to get us level or, or 288 crowns in total, almost level 24. Very cool. So we're not quite done for today's episode, but as you can see, that was some great progress. Um, there are still some other challenges, like these repeatable ones that will definitely be getting done as many times as possible. But for our dailies, we still need to qualify for any run in 60 seconds two more times, qualify for any run in any show one more time, and then play any show four more times. So we'll keep chipping away at all of that um, throughout today's episode and the upcoming one. So let's try something else out. Let's try Hexagravity Falls, back-to-back -back rounds with low-gravity Hexathon. All right, so our first round is Hexagon. Obviously, this is gonna be really interesting because we had that low gravity. Whoa, this is so cool. I think we've had one of these before, but I can't quite remember. But it really is a neat concept, and it means that we can buy a lot of time up here, but it can also be really tricky, just depending on how the other players move around. So let's do something like this, and then maybe if I were to dive, yeah, just at the right time, that could change things up too. So I'm heading right down this way. Plenty of other players have the same idea though. Can I jump and get over there? I don't think so. So let's just try to yeah, sort of recalibrate for this next area. Some players aren't even really jumping. They're just running around. With that being said, this is only the first round of it. So while it's good to get some practice in, we mostly just need to focus on out surviving four other players here, which really shouldn't be too bad. We're, we're pretty high up. Got it. Okay, getting this one. Getting closer and closer. Two more players falling down there as we take our time up this way. I can see them all down there, you know? So that makes it pretty easy just to sort of keep track of everything. There goes another player. They're, they're gonna start falling a lot faster here in a moment. We just need to hold on tight and make our way to the end. This is gonna be really interesting with some of the other hexathon modes. So, you know, like uh, hexaterrestrial, can we jump over the wall or something crazy like that? Who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but we're on to round two. Okay, we're back at hexagon. Is it only hexagon? I think so. I thought it was gonna be the different kind of hex modes, but I'm now starting to see that that might not be the case. Five more players can fall to the slime in this round. So we'll see if we're gonna be one of those players or if we'll survive here. Oh no. Ooh. But as we're jumping through, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Polly Bean costume here as part of Theme Pass 1 of season four. I thought I jumped there. I guess I didn't. <laughs> I think it's a pretty cool costume though. I think it's one of my favorites so far. And I haven't really showcased it too much, but it will change based on which color you choose. So of course that also makes it sort of like a fun level of customizable. If you have different colors, you can sort of change the look of this costume in general. But I know it's a little bit more of a simple one, but the idea is a lot of fun of it being sort of a low poly version of the bean. Okay, I'm heading down here. I'm not really doing the best this time, but I don't really need to too much. I just need to make sure that we are surviving compared to some of these other players. Okay, I'm heading down this way. Maybe I could try to get rid of a couple of these. I don't know if it'll help them too much or, or hinder them too much, I guess. Be more to focus on. Ooh, they just dived into the few layers down there. Okay, I'm going to jump over this way. I think yeah, I'll just make it no problem. Yeah, I really like this costume. I don't know if it's my favorite costume in the Fame Pass just because of how simple it is, but it's definitely cool and a worthwhile one to have in this Fame Pass. I'd love to hear though, what are your thoughts on it and do you plan on getting up to it? Have you unlocked this one just yet? All that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, oh, I just barely made that. That was so close. It was basically disappeared. We're waiting for three more players to get knocked out here. But for as slow as I'm going, they're usually going just as slow. So that's where it can be a bit of an issue. Okay. Um, now they'll fall, yes, yeah, sooner than I will, technically. And with that, we qualify. We get ourselves another gold medal, and we're on to maybe the final round, maybe the semifinal. I guess we'll see in just a moment. So we're back to Hexagon. I really do think it's just this one mini game, which is a little repetitive, but since it's such a different concept, it is still pretty cool. Okay, so I'll jump over there. I'll try to land on this one. We're sort of at odds with this other polybean. Oh no, ooh, couldn't quite make it there. We're falling all over the place, uh-oh. This is really not good. And this is definitely the final round, because as you can see, we're, we just have to out-survive nine other people. So I wonder if while I'm down here, I should just walk through. 
Maybe this would be a smarter idea. That way, if anybody above us falls, you can see that they might just fall to the next layer. Maybe a better idea for now. Because, you know, we could play this slow. I just don't think it's gonna work out super well for us. Okay, we'll do that a little bit. I'll try to get over here and you can see some of the other competitors are falling in that way. Oh, couldn't quite that they beat me there. I don't know if this is gonna work out in the end. I'm just trying to do what I can. But uh, I just feel like with so many people we're rubbing elbows with up here still, it might be better to just try to get rid of as many tiles as possible, try a different strategy here. But I will try this and then we will jump all the way over here. The range at which you can jump is pretty crazy with the low gravity. Okay, we're both jumping over this way. I'm gonna dive right there. And we're just gonna see what happens down this way. Plenty of other people running around like crazy. I'm just trying to get rid of any tile. You're trying to, whoa, they like pushed me off. I was pressing the jump on there, but it didn't really, that was weird. I don't know, huh? Gotta be careful then. Try to get over this way a little bit. Yeah, let's get rid of these tiles. Jump over. Now everybody's starting to fall over quite often. Yeah, I could maybe even make this person fall. I can't get over to that, so I'm not gonna get too worried about it. Nobody has been eliminated yet. Everybody who's still here, as I say that, has been a really solid player, but I'm sure more of these players are gonna start falling. There's definitely a panic setting in everybody to sort of make it to the end as much as possible. Oh no, oh come on. Everybody falling at the same place at the same time, really not super helpful. Okay, ooh, I'm so sorry, but I just eliminated somebody else. Maybe this is where we start taking it slower again. I don't know how many players are above me, but it seems like a good chunk of them are. Okay, jumping over here. More players are starting to fall. Could we make it to the end of this one and win this show? I don't know, but I'm certainly gonna try. Uh-oh, a little bit scary. Ooh, it's gonna be close here. I just gotta jump like that and then dive, and we might make it, we might not! Ah, it was so close. I think we were like the second to last person there, yet we lost to the other Polybean. That's a little unfortunate, but you know what? If I had to pass the torch to somebody, I'll rather patch it to another Polybean. So that was still a really cool round, and we get a bunch of rewards for, as you can see, over 4,000 Bean Pass points and 600 Kudos, as well as some Crown Shards. That'll all be doubled up to over 10,000 Bean Pass points in total. We get the first half of our next costume, the Techno Bean, as well as almost to level 39. We're getting a little bit closer, making progress all over the place. That is great. So I think we have time for one more show in today's episode. Let's see what we might wanna do. We can do either like a squads or duos. I think that'd actually be a lot of fun. I do like doing these, but they take a lot of time to load into, and because of that, I don't know, I usually just don't focus on them too much. So let's try something up here. Let's try a squad show. Ooh, so we're back, of course, just in normal shows here. We got, no, I don't wanna quit. I didn't press that. Uh, we got Skyline Stumble as our first round here with our squad. I think we can do a good job for sure. All right, then. so we gotta qualify to score points. I gotta jump way down here, just like that. Awesome. And this fruit can pretty easily knock me over and set me back, but this time we're doing pretty good. I need to focus on getting as good of a score as possible so that hopefully we can really get our squad where they need to be. Okay, I jumped over that. That was really nice. Now we're up this way. Gonna jump over, just like that. It's gonna switch, I jump, and then maybe one more time, I'm in the clear. Okay, this is actually looking really, really nice. Cause I just run up this way, and then maybe I hit this button. I don't really know. Um, yeah, that worked. Perfect. There are some players right behind me though, and this is the least favorite part of the level for me, but I can maybe, no! Are you kidding me? Come on, we were so close to just sort of scooting through there. It's just so difficult to find a way to get through it. Ah, uh, come on, hit me forward, hit me forward. And then maybe, ah, uh, I don't know what I do here. I guess I just sort of wait for the pinball paddles. We get launched up like this. We and we made it, we made it. Okay, very cool. And there we go, we get 29 points. That's not so bad, uh, but I'm hoping that our teammates can get in soon so that we can keep going. We need to be seventh to qualify. Right now we're exactly in seventh place. If we fall behind any amount at the moment, it's gonna be game over for us. So our teammates really need to catch up. Ah, oh, you can see we're already starting to fall behind in points, but if they can just get through, oh, so close, but not quite there. Other teammates, are they're getting closer too, but there's one player through, which means we're in sixth now. Okay, come on, you can do it. 
You got it, you got it. There we go, this person getting through will be a big jump forward. Oh, we're still in sixth though. So if we need to keep this placement, we need this person to get through the maze. Will they be able to do it? They seem a little lost. Uh, they gotta jump backwards. It gets a little confusing in this spot for sure. Oh, right down there, right down there, you got it. There we go, but only a few seconds remaining. It seems like this might be the first time playing this one. So no worries, we still are able to qualify and move the round two. Ooh, we got C, Seesaw? Yeah, is that it? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was something else for a second, but yeah, it's Seesaw. Uh, let's run in and see if we can't get a little bit of a better score than we did last time, because obviously last time we were able to qualify, which is always good, but we need to go a little bit farther, do a little bit better this time, because the competition is gonna get rougher and rougher for each round. Okay, yep, run it over here. The player in the front is like so brightly yellow. Okay, cool. Let's go over this way. I think I will, oh, try this one. That was a little bit scary, but we're making it work. We're not quite in first, but just being in this front group. Of course, this is another classic mini game that's fun to see again. I think I honestly want to, huh, maybe go over here. This might've been a bad idea. We'll see in just a moment. I'm gonna jump up here. I'm able to make it, but I'm falling over now. This is a little bit scary, because I don't see too many of my own teammates up here. We need to be top five to qualify this time. So making any kind of placement is gonna be so, so important. Okay, we got it. One of our teammates is gonna get through over there, but the other two are a little bit farther behind. Just like last time, we're fifth right now, so we need these two to be able to make some good finishes to keep up if we want to make it to the next round. Will we be able to do it? I'm cheering them on. Let's see, okay, you should be able to make it. This is a tricky jump, you got it. Oh, we're back to six, but come on, you can fix it. This will get us, I think, eight points. Yes, so we're back up. Oh, we're not though, we need two more points. If you can get to the end, we have 30 seconds remaining. If you can do it, that might be able to set us back up there, but unfortunately, not the case. So there we go, we tried but we couldn't quite make it too far in this squad show. I think that's where we'll leave it for today's episode though. We'll see what extra rewards we get here. We should still be getting some of the repeatable rewards. Looks like it. Awesome. So that's 675, which will get doubled in a moment, all the way up to 2,314. So we're getting closer to more rewards. Of course, we'll be unlocking more of them as we showcase some more of these season theme pass costumes. This episode was all about the Polly Bean, but next time around, we're showcasing the cutest friend costume from Hello Kitty here. This one's gonna be super adorable. And then soon after, of course, we have lots more. The Techno Bean is the technically final costume, but we also have like all the bonus ones after that that I'll be trying to get to before this theme pass ends in just a few days. I know I'm super late to it, but better late than never, right? So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.